Overcoming the increased rate of unsafe migration and trafficking in persons in West Africa is the reason for this gathering in Abuja, Nigeria's capital city, for the launch of the West Africa Coalition Against Trafficking in Persons and Smuggling of Migrants, WACTIPSUM. Present here are delegates from 15 West African countries, representatives of ministries, departments and agencies, European Union, diplomatic missions, among others. The launch of a regional network on non-state actors in the field of human trafficking and smuggling of migrants is not just for paperwork, but one which requires giant stride. Hence, the need for civil society organizations to work together, bring better results to the table through a stronger system, a cause spearheaded by NACTAO. So for us to also be able to move faster than the perpetrators of trafficking in persons, gender-based violence, those who don't mean well for our children and young people, we also need to have a very formidable platform. So that is the essence of this. And then we hope that WACTIPSOM will collaborate with governments and regional bodies in the West African space to further solidify the uh, response to trafficking in persons. A TIPSOM team leader, alongside the team leader, Democracy Governance, Migration, are sure of continuous partnership with CSOs to further strengthen the resolve of countries in the sub-region in addressing the lingering challenge of trafficking in persons and smuggling of migrants. Our uh, five P's, we can involve, obviously, in the partnership to try to create a better collaboration between the uh, countries the region of the West Africa. We will continue supporting this kind of ideas from all these partners because our beneficiary, NACTAL, is doing a very well. And I will really want to also uh, stress the strong cooperation that we've been able to establish with NACTAL, in particular in Nigeria. Our partnership has been long-standing and special. Together, I think we've made uh, tremendous achievements in engaging with the government and, and state actors uh, in, in critical areas, uh, in TIPSOM, in return and reintegration, as well as rehabilitation. On the part of the former Director General of the National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons, named Julie Okadonli, the platform could not have come at a better time, as collaboration is key to addressing the menace of trafficking in persons. So I'm very happy with this platform because what happens is that all the relevant stakeholders, the NGOs, the media, everybody will be on this platform, as well as other West African countries, representatives from all the West African countries, sharing information, having referrals to different relevant stakeholders in terms of prosecution, in terms of counseling, and all of that. So for me, this is, I mean, it's overdue, and I'm very excited about it. Statistics reveal that about 80% of victims in West Africa are trafficked for forced labor. 90% of the 7.4 million migrants from West Africa states leave their country to live in another country within the West Africa region. Côte d'Ivoire, Nigeria and Burkina Faso are countries with the largest number of migrants. While unemployment, poverty and the search for better economic opportunities are key drivers of exploitation and trafficking, it is hoped that WACTIPSOM will help rescue millions who are currently victims of circumstance. Uluwato Bienito, Viable TV.